hi guys i'm back for another video update for the twin flames uh, all right spirit guys please show us how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine what is going through his head and what does he want to express spirit guys and guardian angels please tell us how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine currently Okay. All right. Ooh. How does the divine masculine feel about his divine feminine? How does the divine masculine feel? Spirit guides and guardian angels, how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Please show us. Show us. Show us how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? All right, I'm taking these. All right, so... For this group, I feel like something recently cycled through in the Divine Masculine's side. And it could be between the two of you, you know, like he feels like things have... I'm getting, what am I hearing? I'm, I'm hearing things have um, progressed to a new phase. You guys might be at a distance from one another because this is the world. But yeah, I feel like things have moved to a new, like a new chapter between the two of you. It's like a different phase where i feel like this is a divine feminine the divine feminine is opening herself up to more options in the 3d more options where she feels where there is an equal give and take because this is the six of pentacles and the seven of cups so the divine feminine again i've, I've been feeling like we have come into uh our own power our own um uh like con we're we're controlling our lives more i mean not that we haven't but like we're not sitting down and just letting things pass us by we're moving forward confidently and look she's she's looking she's she's actually not just taking anything you know what i mean we're not taking scraps we're not just accepting every offer that comes our way we're opening ourselves up to those offers, but we're not just accepting just anything. We're just more open-minded. We're thinking about it as an equal give and take, looking at everything in a more healthier space mind. And I just feel like that's where the divine feminine, and I that's what the divine masculine feels about his divine feminine he's aware he's conscious that you guys are looking at your options and open about your options the two of pentacles with the chariot and then we also have the nine of wands and the five of pentacles so i feel like the divine masculine is up in his head like which way to go like you know how to handle this relationship he's juggling two pentacles whether it's juggling two relationships or juggling this situation with another situation and it can be anything like you know his lifestyle in general just to keep it as general as you know in general <laughs> and the chariot you know he's being pulled by two in two different ways like 
it's kind of chaotic if you look at this card it's very chaotic these horses are moving in like i don't know what direction they're even moving this chariot in he doesn't know which direction he's going into the two of pentacles and he wants to move forward but he doesn't know and doesn't he's like confused he doesn't know how when where what why he's feeling five of pentacle ish like left out in the cold because the divine feminine is stronger but at the same time i feel like he feels a little wounded defensive and at the same time i feel like this is a this is a card that you both mirror you know um we're not like we don't have a wall up but we're not going to accept scraps you know what i mean we're open see there's not a wall completely covering this person up they have some wands up that just means you're aware you know you're you're not going to just take scraps you're aware of the situation you're going to be more conscious of what decisions you make you're not just going to just make rash decisions is how i see that um but this divine masculine is wanting to move forward just doesn't know which direction does not know how to move forward is a hot mess it's just a hot chaotic mess i mean even this picture he's on top of a a horse that's just oh my god like the horse is like moving in chaotic i don't even know like the water is even very 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 like choppy like very it's not calm waters you know it's very there's too much going on here there's too much going on here okay and so this divine masculine wants to i feel like this and this energy is causing this reaction in the divine masculine okay does that make sense okay and making them feel like this you know they feel left out in the cold but at the same time defensive not knowing you know what action to make like feeling like you need to make a move but not like this person here also looks like i gotta make a move i gotta go for it but i'm scared because i'm wounded because he feels like this inside okay let's see what else we can get spirit guides and guardian angels please clarify a little okay clarify more please in this connection with the divine masculine divine feminine what else do we need to know all right not bad not bad what else do we need to know what else do we need to know my kids are going to be coming through that door really quick and i want to beat them to it <laughs> okay so then we have excuse me we have the king of pentacles okay so this could be an earth sign that you're dealing with with the ace of cups and the justice card ultimately at the end of the day this divine masculine wants to do right he he wants to make things right between the two of you with the justice card he wants to do what's fair what's just what's correct and i just feel like he wants to start fresh a new love connection is what i'm getting from this like he wants to come forward i mean and you know what the divine i mean the the king of pentacles this is very interesting i'm, I'm getting that in this picture he's on like some type of bird that's like right ready to take off is what i'm getting it's like he's ready to take off it usually i don't see that in in, in this deck they're not on any like the king of let me go ahead and show you guys see the king of wands is usually very action oriented but he's just sitting there like just sitting there he's not on anything like he's gonna move towards anyone or nothing like that which is weird because usually i would take that from the king of wands 
right? Because he's the action oriented. He's the passionate. He's the go getter. He's the one that's ready for action. Um, let me see. Where's the king of swords? There's only two kings here that are on something. Even the emperor is like just standing there. He's just standing there. Like he's moving towards, but moving, walking slowly. At least he's he is moving. But he, here, the king of swords. He's just he's standing there with his arms crossed, even. But the king of pentacles, he's like moving towards the divine feminine. He's about to take flight, you guys. Ready to do something in the 3D because this is a very 3D person. You know, earth here in reality. He's ready to do something. Make things right. Balance the scales. I love that. Let's clarify with the Sabila cards. Well, I mean, these are the Oracle Gypsy Oracle cards. Gypsies, what else can you tell us about the Twin Flame? What else can you tell us in this connection, Spirit Guides and Gypsies? What else can you tell us? Oh, come on. All right. What else can you tell us, beautiful, beautiful Gypsies? Okay. Clarify. A little, mm, way too many cards. Give me more, okay. What else can you tell us about this connection? I just saw surprise in the letter. So it's going to come to a surprise to you guys when they reach out. When they reach out, it's going to be like a pleasant surprise. You guys know this too. It's like, I feel like a lot of you guys are into, oh wow, you guys. The merchant and the faithfulness card came up. This is basically like the king of pentacles. He's an entrepreneur he's a self-made man he's probably got his own business he's very business savvy like he's just got his own thing going on that's like the king of pentacles he he's very loyal to his divine feminine but it's also like a friend and the friend card came out okay he's your he's gonna come across to you as a friend first um these two cards came side by side. He's waiting because he's thinking about how to make things work. So he's in his mind waiting, thinking, contemplating. I feel like that's what he's thinking about. There's an enemy amid. So I don't know who you you guys could probably intuit. You know your situation better than anyone. Um, but they probably feel... I feel like the Divine Masculine feels like there's someone... This could very well be his comp competition, you know, with you guys having other options out there. He's feeling like there's other people that are lurking around trying to get your attention. And he's thinking about all of that. Um, he's reaching out with the priest. This is spirituality. This is like them reaching out to their guides, them reaching out to the source divine to guide them. And then this is you, the sweetheart. I saw the letter and I saw surprise. Like... If she's reading a letter in this card you're the sweetheart so i do feel like the divine masculine is going to try to reach out he's just planning and he's try he's going to try to come out as a friend first and it's funny how the divine masculine came out as a the merchant a businessman he's going to try to come out as a friend but he's very wary because he knows there's other people around, you know. So he's in deep thought and contemplation. It's going to be a little bit of a wait. But ultimately, he's reaching out to the divine. And he's going to want to communicate to his sweetheart, which is you, Divine Feminine. I'm going to get some more cards from my Kipper cards to see what else we can get out of this 
reading what else do we need to know my beautiful kipper cards universe spirit guides let's see what else do we need to know okay high honor came up and high honor came up oh look main female came up let's see what else we got My kids just came, you guys. Sorry. I'm going to have to wrap this up really quick. What else, Kipper Cars, does the divine masculine, divine feminine need to know about the connection? Oh, you guys, it came up again. Okay. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show you here. Clarify, please, spirit guides. Hmm. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? This one. Ooh. <laughs> ah, you guys. What else do we need to know? Clarify the connection between them, please. Clarify a little more. Beautiful, beautiful Kipper cards. Clarify a little more. Wow. All right, you guys. So the main male and the main female came out in my Kipper cards, which is you and your divine masculine high honor i feel like this is how they feel about you and the connection they think highly of the connection in you too poverty came up though so i feel like this is the same energy as the five of pentacles the divine masculine really feels left out in the cold that's just how they feel but when they think of you they think of you in high regards you know there's a lot of high like positive vibes like you're their divine feminine of course they're gonna feel that way but also I'm seeing in the distant horizons and house, you might be from a distance. And I think I said that earlier with the, with the world, um, you might live from a distance on each other because the house and distant horizons came out. But I'm also getting with this that um, they see themselves with you in the distant, like when they think of you in the future, they see their stability in you because these two cards can mean stability with the anchor in the house. They see you in their future. They see stability in the long term and their long term stability life. They see the divine feminine. Um, there could also be a trip in the future to see each other. And this could be like not necessarily a house. It could be a building, you know, where you guys meet in the future. I'm also getting that you and the divine masculine could also meet each other in the, in the distance future, going on a trip in a hotel, in a building. I don't know. Take it as you will. However, it may resonate. Um, and I want to get some questions. I want to, I want to get some future like energies, like spirit guides and angels what does the future look like for this relationship what does the future what ultimately what can be the ultimate possible outcome between this twin flame relationship please clarify and show us what could be the possible outcome between this divine masculine and divine feminine please clarify what can be the possible outcome between the divine masculine and feminine. Will they hear from their divine masculine? Will they hear from their divine masculine? Will they hear from their divine masculine? Will they hear from their divine? Spirit guides and guardian angels show us ultimately what will happen. Oh my God, you guys, the letter card came out. Every time I ask, it's either like this. If you look at the last one, it said call. So <laughs> if you're wondering if you're ever going to hear back from this particular person, 
based on the energies today and energies can change but based on the energies today yes this is your answer all right that was it i'll go ahead i'm gonna try to post more if you guys have any other like cards that like other types of readings you want to hear about i would love to hear your suggestions thank you have a great day you guys